Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today we're going to be taking out, or sorry, taking a look at uh, Europa Universalis for 1.31, I believe. It's the new Leviathan patch or uh, Leviathan expansion. So, um, first off, uh, thank you to Pyramidox for giving me access to um, to 1.31 Leviathan. Um, really appreciate that. Uh, just to let you know, they they you know have not paid me to take a look at this at all this is not some sort of sponsored video all they've done is give me access to the expansion free of charge that's it um so we're just gonna you know check it out see how we like it i have not played european universal 4 in a long time probably maybe two years maybe even longer than that it's it's been a long time um i don't really play it in my free time at all um i am curious to to get back into it possibly and 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 take a look at what's changed if if anything's changed um, to be fair, actually, no, it's been about a year. I did take a look at, um, EU4 when they released Emperor, but that was, that was last year. That was back in June 2020, I believe. That was, that was quite a while ago, honestly. Um, so, um, before we jump into playing the game, I want to take a look here. Um, Johan actually just released the patch notes for both the free features and the expansion features that are supposed to come with this. So I wanted to take a look at that um, before we before we dive into the game. So give me one second, let me, let me pull that up. Okay, so I've got it here on my screen here. Um, this is the 1.31 patch notes. Um, I will leave a link to this in the description below. So we're just gonna go through kind of some of the stuff that's been changed with this, uh, with this paid expansion and then also some of the free features. And then we're going to jump on into a campaign. Um, I'm, I'm not sure entirely which country I'm gonna pick yet. You will know probably by the title of this video, but, but you know, um, let's see. So the paid expansion features are a couple different things. Um, it seems that these patch notes are sp spread out into basic sort of topics, I guess. Um, there's some new diplomatic actions and that kind of thing. So um, before on the map, there would be certain monuments in certain provinces. Now it looks like monuments are now spread around the world, giving a variety of modifiers to their owners. Uh, monuments can be upgraded, giving greater bonuses. Okay. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure what types of bonuses they gave before. I know I've seen a few monuments on the map like the Hagia Sophia and like Constantinople and that kind of thing. Interesting. Um, let's see. Some monuments can be relocated to your capital. Okay, that's cool. Um, interesting though. Like, what are you trying to do? Move the pyramids of Giza to your to your capital? Whoopsies. Sorry. Ooh. There we go. Okay, um, let's see. Added several events related to monuments. Let's see. There's now 48 unique monument illustrations. Um, you can now curry favors with another country. So I think this means you can do stuff with, with countries to get favors, curry favors. Yeah. Um, you can also trade accumulated favors for ducats, soldiers, and sailors. I think with other countries, I'm assuming, um, you can now trade favors to ask someone to break an alliance, to put a relative on the throne of another country, to request the return of a core province, to reduce the opinion towards another country. Okay. Um, I have to admit some of these, you know, would worry me, especially with dealing with the AI. I'm kind of curious if the AI will handle a lot of these issues well. I could I could see some of this becoming kind of OP, but you know. Um, colonial nations have three different types, which gives them different behavior. I believe there's there's like a military focus, um, like a trade focus or an economic focus, and then there's a self-government focus, which kind of leaves them neutral. I'm not sure this, this changes too much because you kind of could give your colonies priorities anyway before, but we'll see. Um, Glenno Nations have upgrades giving various bonuses. You can concentrate development of you or your vassal states, transferring the development to your capital. This is a big one. Um, you can take, I believe you could take development from vassals. It reduces theirs and, and increases yours and your capital. So that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, you can centralize a state to reduce its governing cost. I'm not sure what this, I, I'm pretty sure to centralize a state costs you government reform points if i remember correctly um but reducing its government costs will obviously give you more money i don't know but this, that's that's kind of interesting change um totemism has a new mechanic where previous rulers can be selected as ancestors and give you modifiers based on traits okay i do think um we may place something somewhere that makes use of the totemism mechanics that'd be kind of cool maybe in the new world or something um added several events for totemism you can now designate units to automatically carpet siege selected areas interesting that's cool. Uh, a new mandala government uh, reform for some nations, which curses, encourages gameplay with vassals. Okay. I think this is in India or maybe Asia. You can now specify to never mothball certain forts. I usually don't anyway. That's just me. 
Uh, new pillage capital war gold to steal development from your enemies. Um, this is a little... Th I don't know about this change. Because here's the thing is... You know, besides... Like... Well... Because like, if you want to go to war, right? You just fabricate a claim. But... Now, I'm, I'm kind of concerned that, like, you just have a claim. Do you have a claim on, like, every one of your enemies to pillage their capital? You're just going to be at, like, constant war because people are declaring on you for, for trying to pillage your capital? You know, I don't know. It's interesting. Let's see. Draft transports mechanic to quickly build a transportation navy. I'm not entirely sure what this means, but okay. Uh, emergency councils are now led by estates. Actually, you know, I think that's a pretty cool feature. Um, just because that kind of is a little more realistic what happened in the actual world, you know, chancellors and, and sort of regents were chosen and they almost always had some sort of political backing of some kind. They were like some sort of noble or, you know, somebody close to the church, things like that. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm curious though, how this would work, I guess, in states that only have like one or two estates, you know, I don't know. Let's see, you can now choose to extend a regency to delay when your heir ascends to the throne. I don't actually know if I like this one that much. I don't actually know if I like this one that much, just because I'm I'm not sure this happened that much in history. I'm pretty sure, you know, regencies, obviously they have political interests of their own, and so they would try and delay the heir taking power or, or learning how to be a statesman, you know, and that kind of thing. But it, this, is, this is an interesting feature. Um, it was kind of one of the things that made regencies really powerful, but also not, right? Right, was, was you could get a, a regency there's a lot of benefits to having a regency. But then also there's there's a drawback of like eventually the regency has to end, right? You know, that's that that was an interesting kind of thing you had to balance. Let's see. So there's new nation or new missions, sorry, for Brunei, Champa, Cherokee, Dakota, Iroquois, Lansang, Khmer, the Marias, Majapahit, Navajo, Palembang, Pegu, Powhatan, Pueblo, Siamese, Shan States, Sunda, Tondo, and Vietnamese. Okay, or Vietnam. Full sets of unit models for Brunei, Majapit, Malika, Pagarayung, Arathaya, Champa, Lana, and Luang Prabang. Okay. Um, we, I don't know if I'll do any campaigns here in, in East Asia. Maybe we'll we'll take a look at it. Let's see, there's a generic unit model for Polynesian countries and for Austrian Aboriginal countries. Okay. Work a new model for Native Americans, work a new model for Polynesians, and two new disasters, Khmer and Vietnam. Okay. And then you can expand the infrastructure of our province to increase the amount of manufacturers at the cost of governing capacity, nine new achievements, and then added Leviathan achievement icons. Okay. So there's a lot of diplomatic changes. Um, and, and if you're interested in playing some of these countries, you also do get missions. You know, it's kind of interesting though. The focus seems to be on sort of places that are not European or Middle Eastern, which is interesting because this is titled Leviathan. <laughs> you know, a lot of states to build tall existed in Europe. You know, things like the Hanseatic League, you know, the, the Dutch Republic, you know, you know, the Swiss Confederation. Countries that, that, you know, historically weren't super land grabby, you know, in Europe. Um, it's kind of interesting. And then there's some free features here. So we get some new events about special region characters. We get some stuff for the Iroquois nations going to the Morning Wars. New flavor events for the Pueblo tribes, the Cherokee tribes. There's a Sikh Guru's mechanic. New alert types. Um, air legitimacy is being reworked. There's new alert icons and subject icons. New government reform icons. Um, this one we may take take place in our campaign as new Zoroastrian holy sites. Um, add a reforms for each colonial subtype. Okay. New idea groups for theocracy, step hordes, and natives. That's actually pretty cool. Um, new migration mechanics for natives. Okay. Migration speed was removed and migration cost was added. Okay. Alert from one of migratory tribes. Province devastation gets high and they can migrate. Let's see. We have United Hawaii, United Fiji, Eotoria, Maori, New Zealand. Uh, as new tags. A couple new countries, I guess. Um, custom names for both nobility and clergy for Polynesia. There's new Aboriginal and Polynesian flags. Um, 98 new provinces in North America, including historical lakes Tulare and Kauila. New Aboriginal tech group. The Aboriginal and Polynesian ideas. Generic missions to North American natives and Polynesian countries. 43 events for Polynesian tags with new event pictures. New Parsi culture. I wonder where this is. New mechanics for tribal development. New mechanics for federations. New government reforms for tribal nations. Okay. 
That's 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 uh, about it. Add a, uh, added several Catalan cultural names to Europe. Okay, and then he mentions. Um, we're not gonna go through the rest of the patch notes, but he mentions that there were a lot of bugs that they fixed. You know, I I probably didn't play Emperor long enough to realize or or recognize any big bugs that stood out to me. We'll see if we encounter anything that's game breaking. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what will happen. So, this uh, this should be interesting. So let's go and jump into some, some single player here. Um, so I debated something in Western Europe. I don't know if I'd want to start off with anything over here. We could. I just don't know if I want to. Um, what I was really debating was a Jam. Because I kind of wanted to do a Zoroastrian Persia run. I did a Timrid Zoroastrian run at one point. Um, but I kind of wanted to try and a, a, a you know, sort of Persian culture nation, which a Jam is. Um, between that or the Karakoyan Lu. However, as a Jam, we are in a pretty good spot to try and take Yazd. Which is the only Zoroastrian province, I think, left in the world. So, the Timurids will, will eventually probably fall and break up and, and we can maybe attack them for Yazd. So, let's try a Jam. I don't think I've ever played as this country before. Maybe. Um, Shaq Muhammad bin... Base and core, he's a 324. He's a culture Uzbek. Um, he's religion Sunni. Really? So he's Turkic. Huh, that's gonna be interesting. Ajami ideas we have production efficiency um, and diplomats. We also get diplomatic relations when we get all of our um, having all the Ajami ideas. We get fort defense, tolerance to heretics. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, especially for Zoroastrian. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Legacy of the Ilkhans, Smile of Armies, Persian language and court culture. Cool. Tribes of uh, Iraq, Ijam. Okay. Nash Map uh, Modifier Fort Maintenance. Perform the Dewan, you get Yuli Corruption. And then we get Shahana Shah, uh, Liberty Desire and Subjects. All right. We have two vassals. Let's see. We have these guys, Luristan and Ardalan. Um, we, so it's interesting. We are Sunni, but we control territories that are almost exclusively Shia. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And then even then, we need to grab Yazd and have them start converting all of our stuff if we want to become Zoroastrian. So, we see how that goes. Let's go for normal difficulty. I have not played this game in a long time, so we'll see what happens. Lucky Nations Historical, sure. That's fine. Get a more historical world. Um, let's see. Custom Nation difficulty, normal. Yeah, we're, we're doing historical setup here. Yeah, custom nations are disabled. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We'll go, we'll go for Iron Man mode. Um, do Persia. Sure. Let's see what happens. Okay. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've since I've played anything. Okay, so as the Timurid Empire's borders received a number of regional magnates and tribal chiefs, see their opportunity to carve out states themselves. In Anatolian Syria, this vacuum has already been filled by the Ottomans and the Mamluks, the old regional powers in this area. In this uncertain political situation, tensions are on the rise between the old sedentary cultures of the region and many Turkic tribes that dominate its military and political life. Many of the Turkmen tribesmen have turned to millenarian sects such as the Safawiya, a development that might well reshape the future of the region completely. So we're Sunni. We don't want to be Sunni though. Um, preferably we'd be Shia or like I said, Zoroastrian is kind of what I kind of want to go for. Okay, so we got some stuff here. We arrival to Mushasha and the Karkoin Lu. Okay. Karkoin Lu, quite a bit more powerful than me. Yeah, it looks like the Timurids also hate me. Which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see. We start off with minus 50 piety. Which gets us... Mile of Armies, Fort Defense, Missionary Strength. Okay. We piss off the Alima though. We get Demi Loyalty. So this gives us Mile of Armies and Fort Defense... Legalism would give us manpower and tax modifier and technology cost. I usually stay on legalism most of the time. Um, we're pretty balanced right now, actually. Six five seven. I think I want to 
prioritize military for now. Let's see, we get Muslim archers, Muslim foot soldiers. Which one's better? We want more offensive and defensive pips. Um, I'll take... I'll take that. Muslim foot soldiers. Um, We want probably... Let's see, it's Muslim cavalry, archers, Muslim cavalry, charge cavalry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three... So those guys, it's all a four. I think the most shock would be would be good. Yeah, Muslim foot soldiers there. Um, we don't make too much money, unfortunately. Let's see, what do we have as far as troops? We have nine infantry, three cavalry. I think I can afford. I think I can afford one more one more cav. Um, what do they cost here? Wow, half a ducat in upkeep per month. Okay, then these guys are 0.22. So I can, so these guys cost me a ducat a month. These guys cost me half a ducat. And I need to get to full force limit. We need five. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Um... Adapt the title of Khalifa. Well, okay, so what's up with this? Change religion is Shiite. The Shiites believe that the only heirs of the fourth caliph, Ali, are the legitimate successors of Muhammad, while the Sunnis believe the first four caliphs rightfully took his place as leaders of Muslims. Wow. There's two stability from this. Then again, though, we have pretty bad religious unity now. Yeah, we're almost entirely... I mean, I don't, I don't know if I see any benefit to being Sunni, to tell you the truth. Um, I think I'd rather be Sunni and then just go for Zoroastrian later. Let's see, what are our vassals? Our vassals are, well, this guy's Sunni. Okay, so both our vassals are Sunni, actually. Hmm, that could present problems. Let's go and do Demetric. Um, okay, so I, th I think we will go for... No, I don't want to do that. Um, we will adopt the title of Khalifa. That's fine. Claim Timur's legacy from the Persian nation. Yeah, so we need some more territory. We actually do need to own Yaz to do this. Yeah, and then we have to own either Tabriz, Kerman, or Mashad, or Amol and Shiraz. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I've not taken a look at our mission tree yet. So we could stabilize the Jam, and then we get claims on like a lot of this surrounding territory. If we prepare for war, wow, we get a lot. We get a lot of permanent claims here. Huh, that's cool. I think we will do this. I just don't know when to do it. That is an interesting question. As far as tax policy, I think I'm okay with um, this would help. I'm gonna go for that because we will convert probably to Shia. We might piss off some of our uh, some of our vassals. We have two merchants. We have one here. It's our capital node. Um, I can collect from here. I actually can't. Yeah, we're not being trade. We're not trade range there. Okay. We have no generals currently. Let's see. Gathering Storm. The aging ruler of the Timurid Empire, Shah Rukh, has been ill since the beginning of 1444. In his absence, his wife, Gohar Shad, has taken over the daily rule of the empire, but the sign of weakness has set wheels in motion among the princes that Timurid rule that ruled the Timurid provinces. Okay. Hmm. 
In Western Iran, the young Prince Mohammed Basakur, Amisha's grandson, has started to accept taxes and tokens of loyalty for a much larger region than his son governed it. Having finally recovered and learned of this insolence, Shah Rukh has now declared Mohammed Basakur a rebel and is moving to strike at him at first opportunity. If a civil war among all sons and grandsons, like that at the end of the Timur's life, or of Timur's life, is to be avoided, Shah Rukh knows he must strike down any sign of rebellion harshly and quickly. Okay. Okay, so they rival me, so I'm gonna go and rival him. Khorasan has been designated to march by their overlord. Okay. Um. So who would be? Let's take a look here. Who hates the Timurids? Uzbek. Sorry, give me one second. My cat is uh, doing something. Sorry about that. My cat is trying to get into my sink. Not good. You know, the Mamluks might not be a bad idea for an alliance. I'm going to put relations here with our two vassals. I'm actually willing to take this, possibly. Delhi as well. Although, Delhi, Delhi is kind of small right now. Let me take that. That'll stave off an attack, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to roll marriage. I'm not going to roll marriage. Okay, it looks like um, England has rendered Maine to the French. I'm curious, is there anybody else? Anybody around the area? No, nobody really wants vassalization. Nobody want an alliance. Anybody big? Hmm. I mean, because we have a lot of consolidation to do, so I'm, I'm really just looking for people that could stave off some sort of attack. I don't know. Who the car up? I gotta admit, I kind of want, I kind of want better relations with the Ottomans or with the Memlooks. Hmm. We'll see if we can get that. We make some money, not too much, but some. Yeah. Hmm. I gotta keep it on this province. I got. I just. I want to see if he. If he tries to convert this at all. And we, well, you know, we can't annex our vassals for a little while anyway. I'm actually gonna build up some spy power with the Timurids because we may have to attack him sometime in the near future. Save Moldavia. Successor of Vladislaus III. From Lithuania. Okay. Okay, so uh, Sharbrook has died. Okay. So probably all these guys will declare independence wars. I'm not having any of that. We'll pounce on the, uh, ooh, there's the, there's the Kara. We'll pounce on this when the time is right. It's got one more unit of inventory. We don't need that much. What I really, actually, you know what I really need is, is a claim. Yeah. Um, we'll probably take a claim on Yazd. Car can only declare an Arta bill. Okay. Let's take a look here. Um, who's this guy allied to? Galan, which is this guy. You know, we could attack him real quick. Ah, that's that might not be a bad idea. 
Loristan has a core here. He's actually got a couple cores here. Arlon, Arlon's got some stuff here. I don't know. Uh, Galan is not worth a car, Queen Lou. I will give him access. I am curious about this. To take Porsche Star. We could probably take all of this. Sorry, the, um... Music is a little loud. Sorry about that, guys. That's a little better. Let me, okay, let me first, let me try and get a claim here. Okay, so there's the Independence War. So let's let's maybe attack for this real fast. This may be our chance. I just won Yazd and, and a couple other provinces. Nothing crazy. Um, Once we get to a more stable sort of position... Once we get to a more stable sort of military position and, and you know, we've, we've taken some stuff. Um, this guy wants an alliance actually far. How big is he? He's got 7,000. What about Musasha? Really? The guy only has 3,000 troops? Oh, man. Seriously, I kind of want to attack that. That's actually... <laughs> He's only got 3,000 men, man. That's that's not a lot at all. Fars even wants an alliance here, possibly. Um, let's, let, let's let him know, though, that I kind of want some of this here. I'm trying to avoid any sort of... Any sort of wars for now. Um, Let's see. Playing the courts... See, this is a guy that's been playing the courts. Um, I do like legalism, but I don't like the look on rest on that one, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. These guys may not be willing to take alliance at this moment. Um, all right, let's. I'm actually curious how how many troops does Akara have? He's actually got twelve thousand, so not as much as I was expecting. Yeah, let's do this and declare on this really fast, and, and we'll take that. Um, how many forts? He's got a fort down there. It looks like Fars is building up some troops. Let's see. This guy's a war... Nogai and the Great Horde. Or, this guy's allied to Nogai and the Great Horde. That's actually a lot of troops, man. Mm, this could pose problems. Um... We'll see. I don't know, though. I think we could take it just because... Well, okay, so here's a question. is How many troops does the Timurids have? He's got 21,000. That's a lot. He's, but then again, he's at war with a lot of people right now. I think if we pounce on this, we can... I don't know. That's That worries me. Honestly, it does. I just have another belief that we really should attack. We should try and attack this guy first. Um, Let's do that. I mean, he's got one fort. You know, we should take we should take this on. We should be okay. We should be okay. Um, let's let's wait on that other, let's wait on another attack. Let's take this first. This guy's so many fewer troops, and this guy's not going to join the war. Need seven troops for that. Well, actually, hold on. Let's organize this a bit. What should I do here? Hold on. Um, right, and then this guy's the general. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird the way that that stuff works. All right, let me wait for him to come here. Um, increase free trade? I will take it. All right. He's not moving here yet. Let's go here. Oh, we need more troops to this. My leader has no siege, so it's not worth it to try and keep him here. Um, let's have everybody play... Yeah, let's, let's have everybody be kind of close to me.
I think we're going to be fine here. Ooh, that was convenient. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that. That was nice. Okay, so it looks like this guy's rebel problems. Timber pretender rebels. Hmm. Okay, we can invite a scholar. I mean, can I, can I even use an extra merchant? Is there anywhere I can put that guy? I don't even, <laughs> I don't even think there is. Honestly. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it for now. It's fine. There's not really much we could do right now, which is which is kind of funny. Um, no guy wants some access. That's fine. Who's he at war with then? Oh, yeah, that's right. The rest of these guys. Ooh. Oh, God. For real? Dude, none of these guys would join right now. They're both being besieged. Um, okay, is he losing this war? It's really kind of stale. It's kind of at a stalemate right now. Um, he's still got 21,000. That's a lot. He's running out of manpower. He's got mercs, actually, so he's going to be going into debt. I wonder... I will actually take this... Well... No, I can't really form more troops. I will take I will take the morale for better troops, though. You know, I wish we had a siege general, though. That would speed this up a bit. Um, I'm willing to take that chance. Oh, he's actually a pretty good general, though. Damn, it's still no siege, though. That's that's funny. But I'll take that. Uh, um, I don't, yeah, sure. He's a good general. We might need that. Let's see. The spy power, 40 days siege takes because this guy's defensiveness. Oh, God. Yeah, these guys are both being besieged. They can have some problems. Yeah, we don't occupy any forts, though, so he doesn't want to give me anything. Um, he's going to lock in there. Let's go and attack him. Okay, let's destroy that. Oh, man, this is going to take some time. I really actually, I kind of want to declare on this guy. Because if I could take this stuff, then again, he's got a lot of troops. That's my only concern. So this is being besieged by the Grid Horde. Okay. He's got a lot of troops kind of running around. Um, which makes things difficult for me. He's got Corson as a march. That's the only guy that's loyal, actually, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I do. I do. Man, that's unfortunate. This is kind of a good time to attack him. It's just we have our forces divided right now. Uh, give me one second, guys. My cats are being kind of annoying. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Okay. There, there is a part of me that thinks we declare now. And maybe we just... I, I, I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I think I'm going to declare right now. And then we just... Deal with it when we're done. With this conflict. I'm not really that worried about Ajam actually... Um, or sorry, about uh, Musasha being able to defeat this force. Because he can't raise the troops, so... As soon as we're able to get some sort of some sort of occupation, we'll be all right. I think we're going to be fine. Money separatists. Okay, we got an error. We were able to get his alliances broken, which was pretty convenient. Yeah, we'll probably take... Uh... So we got some troops up here. Musasha, let's go attack them. Also wants access, that's fine. 
Okay, so we've taken the siege. Let's go here. We're we gonna get there before him. 25th of August, 29th. 25th of August, 27th. Uh, perhaps not. I actually may be okay with this. Um, this is Luristan. Jami Vassal, no, I'm not interested in that. Force religion, not really interested in that. Village capital. Do we want the capital? No, I think I'd rather prefer the territory. War reps is nice as well. Then we don't occupy that. I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, we give this stuff to our vassal, and then we focus on the war over here. I think that's fine. It costs us 34 Diplo. I'm alright with that, though. Okay, so let's go for an invasion of... Mm -hmm. Where do we actually... Where do we go from here? We could go up there. We could go up there. Let me try that. Let me try that. We can call Uzbek into the war. Do I actually want to do that? No, I don't know if we need to. Actually. Okay, so Herat has been unbesieged. So do we go for Khorasan or do we go for Herat? I think we possibly go for the capital. Let's merge our forces just to be safe here. We're gonna let these guys kind of do their thing. Let's let's maybe go for the capital. I think I'm okay with that. Um, Aquinely wants access. That's fine. Um, let's see. Let's besiege the capital. It's gonna take a, a decent occupation force. Let's see. Timurids are losing troops. He's running out of men. No, we gotta do this weird thing again. So we gotta do that, and then we just move over 10,000 infantry here. We don't have any siege leaders, so we don't have to put a leader on this. Okay, and now we wait. Um, Let's see, his defensiveness, let's see how we do. So we have 27 day siege ticks because we've been able to have our spy network help us out with that. I think I'm okay with that. Um, There are some timber troops here. I personally, I think, think a siege is more important than, than attacking his armies. And again, that is split up. Um, He's got about 16,000. You know what? Okay, sure. I'll attack him. Let's see if we can destroy that force. Yeah, him and his vassal troops. I know this is mountains, so it's not great. We do have a really, really good general, though. Looks like he's also going to advance into this desert here. Should be more than a good battle. Um, yeah, so we've got nice flanking going on. We've got, we've got enough infantry in the center. We have really, really good troops. 100% morale, 3.2 or 3.2 morale, 100% discipline. Tactics are the same. We have more cav. So we're, his flanks are just going to... Yeah, that's that was awesome. That was an excellent... Victory. You're going to consolidate the regiments there. Any other forts we could take? Yeah. No, I think it's just the capital, and that's it. That's kind of all there is to do. Oh, can we get there? Yeah. And now we wait. He's not willing to give me any, anything because we don't occupy anything. We can invest in new technology. I'm going to go and take that. Um, Artibili Separatists, where are they? Hmm. Could go for that. Yeah, religious unity, though, I don't want to. I don't want to. Um. 
Smart ability separatists. What do we do about this? I'm not sure if I have much of a choice here. I may just raise the autonomy. I mean, it's only 9,000, we can take that, but I'd rather, I think I'd rather focus our manpower and, and resources elsewhere for now. You know, I mean, we don't have that much autonomy here. We're gonna lose some tax income. Oh, shit. Okay, so we took some territory. What was the piece? Transoxiana will cede Shoyui, Merv, and Kanjakala to determinants. Transoxiana will annul all treaties with the Chagatai. Okay, so he got some of his cores back. Nah, I don't want to attack that. Hmm. I mean, we do need we do need to occupy a fort. I think we stick to the plan. Well, he's gonna keep trying to raise more troops. I think I'm actually okay with maybe starting to have some field battles. I think eliminating, especially because we got a we got a military tech. I think eliminating his armies is probably more important right now. Make sure you can't conduct defensive sieges and stuff. Who's he still at war with? All of this, huh? Is this down in Afghanistan? Yeah, he's probably going to besiege one of these. Okay, so there's a renaissance. Yeah, 1450, no surprise there. Oh god, we should not take that. Can we get here though? That's the question. No. Am I willing to take that? Probably. Probably. Yeah, we've got a Miltech advantage against him. I think I'm willing to take that. Um. Mamluks maybe want alliance pretty soon. I'm going to keep improved relations there. And I'm going to improve relations, I think, with our vassal here. Damn. No, we don't want to go into that. Yeah, we do get there earlier than he does. Where's he going? Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I can't really afford the... Uh, Unrest right now, though. I'd rather finish up this war. Do we go for this? Do we let him try and get here? He obviously does not want to fight. I think we'll let him lock in. There we go. Oh, yeah, we wrecked that dude. All right, let's get out of here before the rebels come over here and cause us more issues. Where are you going? He's going to Articon. No, we can't catch him. Okay. Let's go for that force there. Destroy that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ah, that's unfortunate, man. Fuck. I got a mountains. Ugh. That's going to be gross. We may have to retreat from this. We do have a tactics and a morale bonus against him, but Jesus, I don't want to take mountains fights. Oh, God. That was just awful. Yeah, we lost way more troops than we needed to. Gross, bro. Okay, I got attacked there. Okay. That was unfortunate. Yeah, I was just locked in. I didn't mean to have him do that. Uh, we're actually out of manpower, which is unfortunate. And I can't slack on the recruiting standards at all. Hmm. What to do here? These guys are pretty cheap. This guy's got Siege, Kurdish Company. Yeah, so these guys don't reinforce very fast, and they don't recover army morale speed very fast. Um, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's wait here for a second for those guys to train back up. Succession of the Crimean Khanate. We must seek Ottoman protection as our choice. Of, as our choice. Okay. It's Vahani Separatists. Oh, man. I have some extra Diplo. I don't really need it for now for anything. So I'm going to go and boost that. I don't want to do that yet. Um, 8,000. That's kind of a lot. Like I said, I kind of want to just finish with this war. I think I'd rather... Steve off revolts if I can. Everything is kind of getting up there a bit, though. Could do harsh treatment, but I really don't want to use... I, I don't really feel like using military power right now. All I really need is just a... Uh, come on, guys, stick close. All I really need is just a damn occupation. And we, I mean, we have almost 100% spy power right now. We should be able to get this. You know? Oh, shit. What's going on there? Do we attack that? Maybe. He's got free company as well. I mean, he's actually got a really good general. He's got a 5-2-2. Two, two. Or do we go for a different fort? Could I go for Merv? Curious to see what happens, actually. Oh, do we go for that? No, nope, maybe not now. How long does this take? Man, we got 23 day siege ticks. That's crazy. I mean, I, I don't think we've got much of a choice here. Is he going for the war goal? He might be. You son of a bitch. Yeah. There's too many troops around here now. I'm worried about this. They could overwhelm me. We kind of got them on the back foot, though. Yeah, he doesn't occupy any forts, man. Let's try to be patient here. Let's just see what happens. We may have to just kind of bite the bullet on this one. Uh, that worked out interestingly, because it was the peasants. God, we're going to be occupied to shit now. Yeah, we're, we're almost here, though. We actually, we've gotten some pretty good rolls. Wow. Yeah, we actually did pretty decent. Okay, yeah, 22 days siege ticks. I'll take that. Sweet. All right. Uh, let's go grab that war goal. And the damn nobles. And there's revolts now. Oh, you motherfuckers. Alright, let's let's destroy that. If he gets reinforced here, I mean we have a tech advantage against him. Oh no, we don't, not anymore. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? What? Why? What? I was right here. What? What is over that, dude? Dude. Ugh. Damn timbers. Let's just take the wargle. We'll take Yazd. Convert to Zoroastrian, and we're fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that. We have we have an occupation. We're fine. We'll be all right. I'll take that too, probably. Yep, I'll take some legalism. Okay.
What do you want to give me, Doug? You give me these two? Plus money? Okay, that's as much as he's willing to accept. War wraps? Doesn't look like it. Alright. I'm cool with that. Yeah. That's core all here. Um, yeah, we'll Chrissy Tommy, sure. That's fun. Could change religion to Shiite. Um, then again. At least, I mean, it would, it would be temporary. It wouldn't be forever, you know. Um, it would certainly help us get a bit of stability. Um, you know, yeah, why don't we do that? Sure. How do we do that? Um, let's let's go for that. Okay, so do we want shock damage? Shock damage received or yearly legitimacy? I think shock damage is best. Let's go for that. In case we got Yep. We spent yeah, we spent some admin points, unfortunately, but you know it is what it is. Um we'll be a lot happier. There's gonna be less unrest now, which is nice. There's a Naples in succession. Ooh. Looks like Naples has been released from Aragon. Okay. Let's go destroy these guys. Yeah, I mean, that, that literally got rid of almost all of our rebels. You know, it's just because of the stability cost modifier. Um, Let's go and disband these troops. Well, I'll, actually, I'll keep them for now because we're a little weak. We don't have a lot of manpower. We'll get rid of those troops as well for my vassal buddy. Of course, religion. It is, it's going to be 1454. We can probably integrate one of these guys pretty soon. Um... Let's get that alliance with the Mamluks. Oh no, they don't want it anymore. Damn. It's unfortunate. Then again, that would that would also put us at risk with uh with, with fighting the Ottomans, so. Yeah, let's core these now. The stability cost modifier helped us out with that. This guy won't be able to take that back unless we get it for him. Okay. So now, in order to convert to Zoroastrian, well, once we core it, anyway, um, I can convert Kerman Shah to Sunni. Is that worth it? Takes 40 months? Is it just me or does that seem like a long time? I gotta admit, that kind of seems like a long time to me. Hmm. Let's see. Fars is allied with Afghanistan and Siston. That's not too much. We can invade that. Then again, our mission tree gives us a lot of stuff here. Manpower level is 60% prepared for war. Let's put at least two stabilizers. Um, really? That's all you need? That's it? That's it? Wow. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I mean, dude, we get a lot of claims. Once, I mean, literally, once we have plus two stability, we get a lot. We get a lot of stuff over here. We get a lot of stuff in the east. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, we need some in power though. Shit. Let's see, and then our culture. Let's see. So Persian is our primary culture, Azerbaijan is second. Even though our ruler himself is actually Uzbek. Huh. Alright. Kazvin, Tehran, Isfahan. So probably what we will do, we may move our capital at some point in the future. I don't actually like it being in calm that much. Um, I prefer it probably. I'd, I'd either build another fort or I'd probably move the fort from Kazvin to Isfahan. Yeah. Let's see, we can get a government reform. So, so we are currently in ICTA. Um, do, I move to, do I want to move to something else? I don't think so. I think we're fine here. 
Strength and Noble Privileges. Form Tax Modifier. Okay with that. Curtail Noble Privileges. National Tax Modifier. Mirror's Influence. It's not like they have too much influence now anyway. I do like the Manpower Modifier though. We could use that. We go, I mean, we're going to be going to war a lot. You know. We could also use money though. Money is really nice. Money is useful for many things. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I like the money. It's 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 very useful. Yeah, I'll take that stability, dude. Because <laughs> then we can get this this mission. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. This is a little unusual, though. Why do we get why do we get permanent claims all over there? I have no idea. Maybe that's just because that's where perhaps our people come from is Uzbekistan, so it's over there. I don't know. We are Uzbek. We're strange. Yeah, it looks like the Mamluks do not want alliance, unfortunately. So we're going to kind of have to. Yeah. Hmm. And in fact, called the. Let's see. No, so he's got too many diplomatic relations, that's why. So we're, we'll hold off on that. Yeah, and then can I pay off his debt? So I'll pay off his debt. Um, I don't think he has any debt. We could enforce religion, but it makes him more disloyal. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, yeah, we're not going to worry about conversion right now, because what I really just want to do is just start getting this Zoroastrian thing on the way. Yeah. Let's go for that. Standardized pikes. Can use Muslim piety in your action. Why are we all the way over here? That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Ow. The Sheikh's reputation is tarnished. Um, we probably should swap this here. 1469. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna lose the Diplo, unfortunately. Okay, I want to integrate these dudes. I do want to attack maybe some of these smaller guys. Like Mazandaran might not be a bad idea to attack. He's a, he's allied with the Karakoy and Lu though, which is actually unfortunate. Ah, the Timurids and the Karas are allied. That's not good. We need a stronger ally then. Uzbek's not bad, but who else wants an alliance? Shamar, Baluchistan. Who hates the Karas? It's really just me and the Memlux, man. Hmm. I gotta admit, going Zoroastrian is gonna make things more difficult for us. We get taunts to the true faith and trade efficiency, but we're not much for conversion. So. Looks like the merchant guilds are mad. Um, let's see, do we have any centers of trade? We do. We do. That's right, you can't keep provinces to states anymore. Hmm. We want to develop these centers of trade. Yeah, see, Isfahan. Isfahan's a nice place for a capital. Now we can move it now if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of the Mercs until we can rebuild back up to Force Limit. Because the Mercs are kind of expensive. What do they cost me right now? I'm actually curious. Is it saying? These guys are costing me... Yeah, 0 0.79 ducats per month. Which, which, you know, is interesting, actually, because regular inventory would actually cost me more. So we'd actually lose money. Inflation a big problem right now. Eh, it's under 2%, so I'm okay with that. Hmm. 
How the Ottomans feel about me? That is an interesting, you know, it's an interesting proposition. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, let's wait till we have all the manpower that we need. Um, I think, so we have four regular cav, and then we just need six infantry. So we'll get rid of the mercenaries, and we'll replace them with our regular troops. Um, in the meantime, I will probably have you guys drill. That's fine. What does drilling do again? Let's see. Yeah. We got Artibilis Separatists up there. I don't know if I need this for now. Loristan's probably going to be the first vassal we integrate. I do want to attack Fars. Oh man, that's actually, that would work pretty well right now. Shit. Um, what do I want to do here? I kind of want to integrate before, before we start doing this. Oh shit. Artaville's up here. Yeah, we'll just wait for him to attack me. We get some separatism there, unfortunately. Let's see. Okay, so who is... I'm, I'm curious now. What do our neighbors have as far as military strength? So Karkoin Lu is like 19. Yeah, so if the, if the car and the Timurids attack me, we'd be in trouble. We'd be in some trouble, man. Hmm. I need to see if I can find a, a decent ally. Let's see. I'm going to come back from Ardalon. This guy really doesn't want alliance. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure this would be much better. No, man, I don't want no damn transgressions. Damn Olima. Let's see, so we could give, um, yeah, we could give the Emirs a free hand. 100% land ownership giving national tax modifier, but national manpower modifier. It's not really necessarily what I need right now. What I need is... Oh, that's interesting. Strong duchies, yeah. They have relations with redesigned subjects. I could really use, actually, some manpower recovery speed. If we had it, that'd be nice. Really? I got the same event again? Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know. Afghanistan wouldn't join this war. At least that's what it says. I have to admit, though, I'm not too keen on... I mean, th well, this guy is this guy's some peasant problems, so I'm not sure if he's too... If he's looking for a fight. I'm a little concerned about these guys, though. If we go to war against this little dude... He only has a capital fort, though. It's not that much. Would I give it to a vassal? Or just court myself. That's also interesting to think about. Somebody claimed to Kazvin. I think it was Mazanderon. Ah, I want that manpower, man. Well, and I, and I may keep the mercs, actually, for right now. Yeah, I'll take the mysticism. I don't mind the Merle of Armies. I don't mind the Fort Defense. Yeah. Let's take a look around the place. Um, I can get a claim there. Okay, so Afghanistan will join that war. So let's be patient. He's actually at war with somebody over there in India.
Oh, okay. So curry favors increases your favors over time. Okay. Sash and separatists. I could give him a gift as well. Yeah, debt. Core. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. I'm not willing to lose legitimacy right now. Let's see. What about the at Koyun Lu? Who else hates this guy? It's, yeah, I mean, I don't even think the Akko Yulu are that strong. Yeah, he's got 4,000 men. It's nice we're allied to Uzbek, though. That actually kind of comes in handy. I, I really do wish we had an alliance with the Mamluks, though. That'd make things easier. Yeah, he just he has too many diplomatic relations. He's got a lot of subjects and stuff, so he's just not interested right now. Um, there's not much we can do about that. That's That's just kind of how it is. It's unfortunate. See, some places are getting the Renaissance. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. As long as we stay ahead of military tech, I think we're okay. Okay, so we're ready to start integrating this guy. Let's do it. Um, we've got some Diplo rep. We could make it a little faster by going... Actually, Privilations ain't bad. Do we have... Well, we don't have... We actually don't have any aggressive expansion right now. Trade efficiency, yeah. Ramuz here, Basra. Yeah, it doesn't. Really, I mean, it doesn't help me that much, to be honest. National tax. Yeah, two base tax and Yaz. I'll take that, dude. Hell yeah. Low crown land. Damn, that's pretty bad. Low crown land, huh? Interesting. That's an interesting penalty. Holy shit, these guys are pissed. Yeah, the Elima are really mad. Maintained the Okay, so there's that truce. That truce is over. Yeah, you guys are not interested. Ah, oh, for real? For real? Damn. Alright, what about you guys? Any any interest in in in, uh, in something here? Let me try and get him above 100. We'll see what happens. It's not looking too good right now, though. I'm going to take a vassalization. He obviously doesn't want a war. So, so this is a good question. Is, I mean, do we attack him right now? Do we, do we kind of wait for the annexation? What do we do? That is an interesting problem. Hmm. I kind of do want more land. Can I annex Fars in one war? I cannot. Um, this is our this is our primary culture though. It'd be nice. I mean, this is some development right here. This is actually quite a bit. Um, I mean, Shiraz itself is fourteen. You know, in fact, I think we need it for something. Yeah. So, so we have to own Shiraz, or to breeze Kerman or Mashad. Owns a core province. Um. Oh no, we we own a mole. And Shiraz. Okay, or Tabriz, Kermana, Mashad. 
So we'd have to go up here and attack maybe these guys, which which probably wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I do think a port would be nice to have. Um, these guys seem to have some some issues. And we are allied to Uzbek. Enemy of enemy. I don't know if these guys are interested in anything right now. Hmm. I don't know. I may attack Fars. I gotta think about it. I gotta think about it. Um, we, we are surrounded by some pretty pretty scary enemies. Yeah. I mean, we could easily be enveloped and destroyed. So, I need to think about this. Alright, guys. I'm, I'm gonna take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. We will probably start... We will probably attack Fars, and we may start converting to Zoroastrian. Um, is what we might do. So, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Not really sure how this is all going to go yet. The Timurids keep acquiring allies, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, so we'll see how this we'll see how this goes down. Um, it's it's funny too because the Mamluks actually we may have something with the Mamluks because they're rival to the Timurids. Yes, yes they are. So I don't know. So anyway, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this series. As again, uh, once again, thank you so much to Paradox for giving me early access. Uh, we'll we'll see how this campaign goes. We'll probably start converting to Zoroastrian in the next in the next uh, couple episodes. We just uh, we don't want. I mean, we have control of this. We don't want to go anywhere. But you know, we just we need to play the the diplomatic and, and military game kind of carefully. So, all right, guys, I will see you very very soon. Thank you so much.